Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So, yeah, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these enemies uh, when these enemies attack my character. Only one enemy should attack at a time. So, the reason to implement that is, uh, system is let's uh, try to uh, fight with these three enemies so whenever I'm the only one these guys more than one person attacks at a time and this is not uh, this is not good uh, for the player because we might run into problems uh, for in the games like Arkham Knight, Batman especially, they, uh, no matter the number of enemies, the player can attack with any number of enemies. So that's the same thing I'm going to, I want to achieve. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I'll open my human character. So for those who are not familiar with my architecture of the game, so this this uh, CH human is the main character class and this CH enemy and CH player are both descendants of the child classes of this CH human class. So I am going to do the changes here that then they will be inherited to the other classes as well, other child classes as well. Right. So to implement attacking, I should so this is where these AI characters attack. When they are in the attack mode, I enable attacking here with toggle attacking. I'll go to that function or event. This is that event and okay and here I do this AI attack so this is the method that actually do the attack action so here first I should check if my opponent in this case the yeah whatever the opponent if he is already under attack by someone if not then I can attack him so we need some some event or some function for that and for that I'll go to my BPI character interface which I have implemented by the CH human class and there under fight I'll add a new function is under attack so I'm using this to check if my character my opponent is already under attack and I need a output of a boolean type I'll name it uh, under attack And now I'll implement that in where should I implement it? Well, I have to implement it here. First, need to compile and where are the interfaces here, yeah, okay, right here is under attack. So, here I'll define a new variable called under attack like this and okay and where should I okay default value is false and for the AI characters I don't really care about attacking only one enemy at a time 
well I can do that for AI as well why not so here I need some method to so whenever this guy is under attack I have if this guy or my character is not under attack then I don't have to do anything but I have to make this under attack variable to true for us for some time so for that I'm gonna need another event okay I'll come back to this method here because this part is not done for now I'll leave it like this and under fight let's implement a new method new event I'll collapse this first I need some room here kick and counter okay so I'll create a new custom event called what should I call set on I'll name it set under attack for the moment all right now I'll okay I'll need uh, I'm going going to set under attack a variable to true first and then I'm gonna add a delay something like actually I'll take this as an input and after the delay set under attack to false okay and the delay for the default value I'll set 0.5 seconds right now that I have this I'll go back to here and well I think I need the input of the duration for this one as well I'll name it attack duration and the default value 0.5 okay and yeah if this is true if under attack is true then I don't have to do anything just return true and if this is false I have to set under attack uh, okay my spelling this is a small spelling mistake here I'll fix it quickly right under attack to with the given duration and return right now I have so now I can use this function to check if I can attack or not my enemy so that's here where's the enemy okay here I'll get a reference to my enemy like this and under attack he's under attack I can check it like this and do a branch if under attack then I should not do an AI attack if not under attack I should do the AI attack like this okay I did a little mistake here so here not there in that function where is here so yeah I should not return this under attack variable okay I should return 
so if this guy is already under attack then definitely I have to return a true and if he's not under attack then I should make him under attack because now it's like I'm giving permission to attack this character to whatever the other enemy so here I can return false so that means this guy is not already under attack okay so let's check if that works right okay now he attacked me and he attacking me but no one else is attacking in the same time okay I think uh, yeah they are not attacking simultaneously so I think my system is working okay so I think that's that would be enough for today so with this what I am heading is now that I have this counter system and blocking system and now that I have this only one person attacks at a time so that I can do something like rotating the camera to whoever the enemy who is going to attack uh, then my I, I can give some hints like press Y to counter or make this enemy who is going to attack to visible to the player so things like that like in Arkham Knight alright so that's all for today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me also if you want to support my work you can go to patreon.com till the premier and there you can get the membership of my club so depending on the membership you will have benefits like access to the source code and you can ask questions and other stuff that I post there you will see all right so see you in the next episode goodbye